Hello everyone! In this tutorial I will show you how to make corners of your image to become round, add shadow and save it for the web. As usual I'm going to use GIMP 2.8. This is our final result image. Uh, you cannot see transparent background right now because the program I'm making the video with just doesn't support PNG format so don't worry about it. At the end we are going to make it with transparent background and with a little shadow. So let's get started. First we need to add alpha channel to our image, so right click on your image and choose add alpha channel. Now select the whole image, go to select, select all. Take rectangular select tool and then click in the middle of the image to activate the selection. In tool options click on round corners and choose your radius. Mine is around 50 pixels. Here we need to invert our selection, so go to Select, Invert. To cut the corners, go to Edit, Cut or just click the Delete button on your keyboard. Remove the selection by going Select, None. I'm going to zoom now to show you closer our result of the cut off corners. As you see, our corners are round now, so good. Now I'm going to zoom out and let's move on. It's turned for the shadow, so go to Filters, Light and Shadow, Drop Shadow. My both offsets are 3 pixels, blur radius 10 and leave allow resizing clicked. We've got the shadow now and the canvas of our image has been resized. Create a new layer, choose white option and then place this layer below the layer with drop shadow. I'm zooming in now to show you the shadow. By the way, the white layer was actually created just to show you the shadow effect. Later we're going to delete it. This is it, this is actually the end. Delete the white layer now and then go to image, match visible layers and we need to save this image as PNG format. To save the image go to File, Export, choose the folder destination for your image. If your image has extension JPEG like mine, remove it, then select File by Type by extension and then find PNG format and click on it. Unfortunately my video screen is small so I can't really show you exact movements but make sure you find PNG format. So here it is PNG format and then click export. This is the end of our image creation. Now we have our ready image and you can add it to your HTML document or to your website. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please ask. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.